Hey, I got a gal coming into the salon today and I've been doing her hair for a few years. So uh, normally she just has me do whatever I want to do, which is kind of nice. <laughs> but she also generally wants me to go short. Every once in a while I convince her to grow it out. But we generally end up doing something completely wild on her or at least, you know, not the normal haircut. So uh, let's see what happens today. <laughs> Okay, so are you figuring out what we're going to do today? Not yet. I'm looking. You're looking. Okay, well, this is what we got so far. <laughs> Definitely going to make a change. You're hot. So yeah. let's figure out something want. like this. What else? Let me see. Yes, you have a lot of hair, so we could take out a pound and you'd still be okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, still looking. Got to decide. I'm going for short. And maybe like this part right here. Like, like that, a combination like this, of this. But a little bit longer right With here. With a little bit longer. Oh, yeah, we can yeah. do that. Okay. okay, this is the goal. This haircut right here. You ready? <laughs> okay, let's this see. This one like there. Well, right, this is the side, right? Yeah, right with the longer bit. But right here it can be longer. It just I can just go like this. You can just tuck it behind. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that if I cut around it, then you don't have that option. So I'm going to leave it longer here so you can just tuck it behind there when you, you want go. to. Yeah. So that one will actually come and just frame your face a little bit down mm -hmm. that way. Okay? And then, and then like a little bit. Yeah. What? It's, it's only hair. It always, it always grows back. Huh? back. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Let's see what we're going to do. Let's start this okay, so the goal is this haircut, but we're going to frame it around this way so she can just tuck it behind. Yes. I have sectioned her off because I want to do this part last. And I want to keep the sides separate, as you can see. And then start on this part first because this is going to be the shortest part, the tightest part. Okay, I've established the guideline. Now I can begin the rest of the haircut. Okay, there you go. Okay, just hold it there. All right. I All right. So we're good. It's already going. So make sure it's still going. Yes, all right. So, okay, now after you've established the guideline, the first thing you want to do is pick it up like this. You're going to start from the very bottom and cut up. And then that way it makes it nice and tight and through there. Much better. And it's also layered underneath. Again, pick it up from the very bottom where it's short come up. Okay. You definitely want to keep the hair wet because that's how you see the guideline. Okay, after this part is done, you're going to drop down the next section. See, do that all the way up. Okay, go ahead and how's it feeling? Feeling good? Yeah. Okay, after the back is done, definitely drop down the sides. <laughs> Calm it all down. <laughs> and now we're going to Keep the guideline going. So that it all comes. Don't be afraid to push your customer's head over. Because you want it on an angle. So do it. Make sure the angle is correct. Always check it. And then, uh, yeah, it's time to bring down the next layer. <laughs> the last layer. Does that feel good? Okay. We're going to go ahead and finish the haircut. Okay. Calm that down. Bring it in there. Okay, we're done. Tilt that way. Nice and clean. Look down. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. Okay, right, feel it. Tell me how you like it. Oh, yes. Feel good? Yes. All right. So it's light enough for you because we took off a lot of hair. Yeah. <laughs> That's your hair. And you still got tons of it and left. <laughs> Alright, let's see that's looking good. Coming down this way. Okay, let's have you poke it behind your ear. Okay, if we poke behind the ear, that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Poke on this side too. Yeah, nice. Okay, look down. I like it, I like it. What do you think? Do you like it or should I break out the razor? <laughs> you do, you got tons of hair. <laughs> yeah. Should I break out the razor or are we going to go with this and wait a week to decide on the razor? Mm, maybe we'll wait. So, yeah. But you like this right now? Yeah. This is good? Yeah. Alright. Uh, See, yeah, this way it's 
totally, you know, tighten through here and like it gets longer each way, but it makes it nice and bouncy. Mm -hmm. I like it. You like it? All right. Okay, so this is the end result. <laughs> I think it looks good. Look down one more time. There you go. You can lift your head back up now. What do you think? Are you good with it? Yes. <laughs> all right. Good deal. <laughs> yeah, the best part about this cut because it's all done from underneath. It's going to grow out nicely. That's the important part. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for letting me use you today. <laughs> oh, my pleasure. You see the bounce in that hair. Very nice. <laughs> you like it? Yes. All right. Good deal. Okay, so we didn't exactly do this picture, but <laughs> she likes it, and that's what counts. <laughs> so basically, yeah, I still did an undercut concept, just left it a longer version of it, so yeah. that it's a little more bouncier. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so technically, just so you know, the name of that haircut, if you want to give it, or, you know, if somebody's asking for it, it's technically known as a graduated wedge because it is an undercut but there is no bi-level line of distinction cut now what i say by bi-level meaning it doesn't look like a mushroom <laughs> you know the, the classic wedge but it blends up into the top of the hair but you start the haircut at the bottom at the nape at the neck and you definitely want to section it off so that uh, you don't get lost so hopefully you enjoyed that haircut and if you have any questions get in touch Yes, I'm here on Google Images, just looking for some examples of what I did today. But yeah, see, this is it right here. It's a graduated wedge. It, it just moves up nicely. It blends in. It doesn't have that sharp <laughs> byline happening in the back there. And you can tuck it behind your ears, and it just grows out nicely. Okay, here's an example of a wedge. As you can see, it has two separate haircuts happening. That's why it's called a bi-level haircut, because you have one, two. It's done two separate distinctive cuts. You section this part off, and you keep it away, and then you just do this part, and then you drop it down and do this part. And as you can see, it kind of looks like a mushroom in the back. It's actually, to me, it's a bit extreme, so that's why I went with the graduated wedge on her today. Okay, and now you can see the difference. Here's a graduated wedge. It maintains the shortness underneath because it's still an undercut, but it works its way up and it's blended in. It's not just a sharp line going across afterwards. This part blends into it nicely and it maintains the bounce and it grows out much nicer. So yeah, I preferred doing this one over the wedge only because it just grows out nicer. I also think this is a much prettier cut than the extreme wedge. And the main reason I like the graduated wedge is because of leaving this part like this. You can poke it behind the ear if you want to, but yeah, it keeps the bounce back here and it doesn't look extreme, you know? It just looks nice and it grows out nice. I do. I like the graduated bob slash wedge much better. I think it's prettier. Again, this is the byline wedge, you know? I mean, it looks okay if you're young, but to me, actually, with her hair being this blonde, she shouldn't even be sporting this haircut. She should have taken this at least to like a three or a four, just so it, you could see it. It almost looks like, you know, she's bald there because her hair's so blonde. But yeah, the person who gave this haircut, they it looks like they were attempting to do it, but they didn't quite execute it, I don't know. I just think it could be done much better. <laughs> Here's another one that wasn't executed too nicely, I don't think. Because, again, the blonde, see how it's like just, you can't see it. And this line is not, it's not tucking under. So it's not a true undercut, which means they either use the clippers or something. But it just, I don't think it looks as good as it could look. <laughs> it could be cupping under. Okay, here's a cut I did a couple of years ago, but it's just, so you can see, this is known as a pixie, which is the same, actually, as a short shag, 
which can become a medium shag, which can become a log shag. You know, it grows into a log shag, but lots and lots and lots of layers. You know, no bounce back here, but real easy to maintain. <laughs> and it looks cute. Now here's a cut I did that is an example of a bi-level. You got two different cuts happening right here. This is like really short, short in the back. And then I did a slight A-line here and left the bangs long. So, you know, there's so many variations you can do with hair. It's just a matter of where you want to put those scissors. <laughs> okay, so for the wedge haircut, here's basically the example of what I did, which is I held the hair at 90 degrees consistently through the entire haircut up. But the bottom here is the shortest, and then you just go up, 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 and then it stays, you know, blended nicely. <laughs>